Viewers, you are welcome to Kabod Consult, a YouTube channel that is dedicated in bringing you exciting episode and educative session around catfish breeding and production generally. Uh, if today is your first time of tuning into our channel, you can hit on that subscription button as well as turn on the notification bell so that you'll be the first person to receive uh, a notification whenever we post new videos. I'm by name Abiodun Kolapo, an expert and trainer in catfish breeding and catfish production. Today I will be showing you uh, the process of catfish hatching. After you have stripped your eggs just the way you saw us did in that video, the next thing you are going to do is to uh, pour in your meal that you have remove the impurities from and after pouring in your meal uh, you will want to stir it for about 30 to 60 seconds so that the active meal meal the active sperm will find their way into the nuclear of each of this egg uh, this egg is weighing 0 0.6 0 0.5 kg it means that it, we are expecting nothing less than 250 uh, hatchlings to drop at the end of this process. So after turning in your, your eggs like this for one minute, the next thing you are going to do is to remove the blood from it. Because uh, during stripping, there are traces of blood. And we, we stop stripping when we begin to see the traces of blood coming out. So we will not want to inoculate this into our cultural media so that it will not pollute our water quickly. So fertilization is initiated immediately when these come in contact with fresh oxygenated water. Uh, without coming in contact with fresh oxygenated water, it fertilization has not yet taking place so we are to initiate fertilization by uh, putting some amount of water into the mixture of our meal and egg so that fertilization will commence and after putting putting in fresh oxygenated water you are expected to also steer this mixture of meal and egg for at least 60 seconds so that every egg or most of these eggs will be fertilized and after this process is being done you will spread these eggs on your kakaban that is the spawning net so that the dead eggs we know that not all of these eggs will ash there will be dead eggs that will not ash at the at the cause of this hatching process and uh, we don't want them to go into the pond and stick to the bottom of the pond. It will deplete the dissolved oxygen present in the pond. And also the ammonia will build up fast. So this kakaban helps to uh, separate the, the hatchlings from the dead eggs. The hatchlings will find their way at the end of the day into, through the net into the cultural media. So at, as you can see, we have another spawning mat down and we are going to also spread our eggs and it must be spread in one layer. After 24 hours, uh, it is expected that your eggs have hatched into hatchlings. So if you can see carefully, we have most of our eggs have hatched into hatchlings. They are tiny movable uh, fishes that uh, congregate at the bottom of your pond. At this time, they are not uh, very, very active to swim. They are not yet swim up fries. So it takes three days at most, depending on the temperature, for them to start swimming up in search of external feed because the first day of hatching and second day of hatching they have uh, their feed 
of food in them so they come with their food in them which is of high protein content so after exhausting this food they start swimming up in search for external feed this is when you start feeding them and from this stage you will start a thinning you will start a, a siphoning and so on and so forth if this is your first time of tuning into our channel and you've gotten value for the video you just watch uh, why not hit on that subscription button and turn on the notification bell so that you can be part of this community and also drop a comment on drop a comment from where you are watching this video from